what's going on welcome back to the channel if you're new thanks for joining today we got something really special of course uh first choice recreation here in drayton they uh got me a new sled deck in so we're just on our way i'm leaving the shop here just got to go over there and then we'll pick it up get it in this truck we'll uh see you once you're there i'm travis and this is panic industries First us. Let's go find Lonnie for this side deck. There we go. Look at this beauty. So this is an eight foot. Of course, uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys why I bought an eight foot quite yet just because uh, you'll have to figure that out come the new year. Got a little surprise coming on the uh, truck side of things. But uh, yeah, just look at that beauty. Really nice, heavy built, all aluminum. Of course, it's sitting a little low, so I gotta adjust this, move shit out. But uh, wee hee hee, big LED on the back. And uh, First covered in snow and all that's fun stuff but we'll get back to the shop show you more so it's a little bit later here but I got everything I needed to bolt this deck into the truck so I'll just give you a little walk around to where we're at right now so uh, just currently rocking the under deck lightings that the uh, truck comes with the factory but uh, one thing I'm really impressed Milan comes with these, uh, they're a nice big pad, so they just distribute the weight really well, so you're not putting it just in a small section, you know, more surface area, really, really nice. Of course, when I bought, or when I was over there, deck was sitting in snow, so there is some ice underneath, or like on the pads, so we're going to have to clean that up and get that all taken care of, or I might just let it melt and then retighten the bolts once we're there but uh, I don't know if you guys can see but these uh this main rail it's slotted so if you loosen these four bolts or the six bolts there and then there's four up front on this leg then this can move backwards of course since I'm not gonna have this deck in this truck for very long I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother moving them they're in a good spot here, you know, I'll just run it the way it is. Even though it would be nice to have it a little bit further back, but just the hassle I have to go through won't be, won't be effective. Now, of course, most sled decks, they come with your typical uh, four-prong trailer plug. Now, I have this bundle of wire here. Kind of like my last truck. Since I have the uh, fifth wheel plug in the bed, that's what I want to put it to. We do also have uh, backup lamps, so I should be able to hook up this rear LED bar right here. This has a left and right turn signal, brake light, and running lamps. And then it also has a full uh, white for backup, so I want to make sure that gets hooked up. Uh, then there's something about this red wire. For 12 volt constant uh, but there's a big big manual that you can get where it instructs you on how to hook that up now just uh, one thing I wanted to mention even now like you spend over six grand on this deck and they're just these push lock you know wire connectors 
I don't like those, so I'm going to be changing those out to crimps with some uh, shrink tube on them. And I'm not very happy with the uh, mounting location here of their little uh, box, little electrical box to control that rear light just because it's on the outside and it'll, you know, it'll see more. So I want to change that to inside and that'll just give it, give it a little more protection and whatnot. But uh, just walking along, of course, typical sled deck. You only have two holes in your sides. So this would be for if you're running two quads or something on here or two really wide sleds. Since we run mountain sleds, they sit a little skinnier. So we'll take and we'll drill a second set of holes like here just for, you know, so I don't have to have the deck as wide as it is right now. But we'll set that up a little bit later. That won't be in today's video. And same thing up front. Now I am really, really happy that uh, the side piece hangs down so far because it just allows this deck to sit really really tight to the bed rail like I can just squeeze my hand in there with that when we loaded it in this uh, this rail here it was sitting pretty much right on the bedside so I'll have to move you know maybe like an inch over on this front hole just for the stowed away position not a big issue of course got this nice super track down the sides that was a big selling feature for me also comes with your three super clamp um, tie down points so you have your two sides and then your center notched out really nice nice and wide a lot of good craftsmanship went into making this deck so we got uh yeah, got a few little odds and ends to do, but uh, it is what it is. I'm really happy. Oh, also, there's uh, lights up on the headache rack, just little clear LEDs, nice Marlon sticker. So that's what we got to do. It also comes with two front and two of the rear super clamp tie downs. So for the selling point of this deck, it's a... Uh, it's a really good deal, I think. It is a lot of money, but you get a lot with it. And I don't know if I showed you the deck or the. I don't know if I showed the uh, ramp yet, but I just got it laying on the ground here. Um, telescopic. It comes with the super wide glides. That's new for this deck. So that's a 12 inch wide boot. So a lot of width there. Then they have these nice grips for the centers. That I really like. Fairly heavy for one guy, it's a little bit, but I'm sure once I get used to it, it'll be all good. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod, try and show as much possible, but there's a lot of work under the deck, so it's gonna be hard to video everything, but we'll keep you up to date. Well, that took me, it was probably about an hour to get all the wiring done, but 
we got this big uh, LED light bar, tail light doodad. It's working. Of course, there you guys can see it. I'm sure you guys saw it in the time lapses. I was going through, I was testing it. Uh, one other thing, I got a little switch back here. There's their underbody lighting, so I'll just shut the Ford ones off. You know, still a good amount of light, but turn these on as well. I can see really good. There's those four up top. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I did over here. So this thing's been dripping on me for the whole time I was working on it. But if you guys can remember what it looked like before, uh, I was gonna move this on the inside. I considered not to. Uh, just after looking at it, it does, it is really waterproof and it is well built. So I was gonna leave it out here. I did move it back from its original location up here. So now it's just, you know, I wanted as minimal connections as possible, or as least. So I moved it back so the wires would reach. Uh, we still got our little bungee here. And then uh, we have our trailer cord running ahead. And of course, just runs down here, zip tied to this pillar. And then we got it, you know, into our trailer plug in the box. One thing that they do say is you need to run a uh, jumper wire to get the uh, 12 volt uh, constant power to the trailer. Now, I don't have any of the scotch lock fittings. That's like those red ones that I had showed you guys earlier that they had used. And you need to just jump a wire so it works. Uh, I don't have that, so I'm going to have to wait and do that at another time. I just, what I did is instead of running the 12 volt power, I just hooked that up to the running lights. The truck doesn't like it. It'll say that there's a wiring fault whatsoever, but it'll work still. The truck just won't like it and it'll ding and whatever. So now what we got to do is you can see these pads here. So lots of the snow and stuff has melted out. So this is pretty much a lake under here. So I'm going to get soaked while I'm doing this. But uh, funny little thing. We'll just try and close the tailgate. It, uh, it went from clearing to now it's sitting on my tailgate. Not by much. But so I'm going to have to add little spacers. I'll show you what they provide go here to the truck so my lawn luckily enough watch it. they provide these so it's just a ABS plastic so about a quarter inch of it I'll give you four four for everyone that's either four obviously five. So you get five five leveling shims. So you know different beds or different depths or guys want them taller, shorter, whatever it is. They provide these so that's really handy. We're probably gonna add two all the way around. Two maybe three. I'll start with two see how I like it. and then uh yeah, so I'm going to have to crawl in here, get wet, probably put a jack or something to help raise it, just so I can work under here better. But, uh, of course, going to set you guys up on time lapse again. There's going to be lots of that in this video, just because it takes so much time to get shit done. And I don't want to bore you guys out, so. I'm going to get to work, and you can watch me uh, get soaked laying under a truck. So what I just did there is I took a half inch drill bit and then I had like a mid size, so it would be like 3 eighths or 7 sixteenths. And I had this like 3 sixteenths. So what I do 
is I drilled through because the uh, the base here it already had a half inch hole, so took started drilling with the half inch. What that does is that can drill through this plastic real easy, and then it gives you a pivot or kind of a pilot mark in the aluminum. And then you take your little pilot, ram that through through the bed, and then of course you'll have your uh, what I was using. Because you're going through aluminum on these forbs, of course I picked up some stainless bolts and then stainless fender washers. So that's what I'm using going through. Now of course we'll just come over here to the toolbox. They, uh, they supply these which are just a, they're a metric bolt but I don't believe these are stainless. Don't quote me on that. But uh, they have these, but they thread into these little blocks. I'm going to actually drill out these blocks. Because then my fender washer will sit on there. And then uh, we'll just use our normal nut. Or for tonight, I might just do that. Yeah. Just figured do this. Stainless is good to use. Uh, also, I added three three of these little shims to each uh, each corner that gave me a good height I believe I'll just get all this crap off the tail of it. and we can show you tailgate shuts uh, the mic wasn't so big I can show you see if I can go from back here but you got you know that quarter inch three eighths of an inch so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I want to keep it as tight as possible. Just uh, helps keep dirt and snow and other crap out. But I gotta crawl up front now. I'll drill out. Of course I'm soaked like so much water, but luckily you only get wet once, right? So yeah, I measured it out at the back so it's centered, and then uh, for the front I'll just show you. So this is what I meant. It's like super close. It's pretty much sitting on the body there. So I'm just allowing these to guide the front. And that's as centered as it's going to ever get. Of course right up tight. Nice clearance though. Still get my hand. Kind of. It is a little tighter at the window because it curves. But there we go. I'll set you guys back up. We'll get back to work. One thing I wanted to go over, um, just when you buy one of these decks, of course, these, uh, this is the Merlon uh, Explore Pro 2. Uh, it's an all aluminum deck. When you get it, like I said in the start, you get two rear tie downs, these super clamp things. I've never used them, but uh, lucky to give it a try. Of course, it gives you some more super track. Of course, you'd mount that down you know either here if you're running a single sled or you know up here so either here or somewhere over here I'm not quite sure this might work for both sides but uh, looking to give that a try of course it comes with two of them and then you also get two of the probably the best tie down I've ever used but the super clamp twos these things are amazing they just go, we use this sled, you know, on the skis like that, center hook, straps them down. So, excited on this. This makes these decks so, so much of a good deal that you get two and two. Absolutely just incredible. But, uh, yeah, on to other things. So I've gotten as far as I'm able to go tonight. Of course, I don't have a helper with me. So tightening down the deck bolts, you know, I can't really do. I have a, uh, I have a nut on the bottom, so the bolts aren't gonna come through. It's more or less just pins right now. I'm not worried. I don't think this deck's going anywhere. 
and then with on the bottom you know uh, just the way it's set up I'm gonna go get uh, three quarter and one inch uh, aluminum plate made um, in some like eight by eight sections drill my half inch hole in the bottom and just use that to help sandwich a bed just you know that surface area idea of putting the force not on just one little spot with a fender washer but a bigger area of the bed just to give it a little more rigidity and then me not having to worry about weight in the truck and of course I don't want to say too much but come uh, the new year I'm definitely going to want to have this deck as rigid as possible. Now uh, I'll just give you another walk around. Of course uh, I went ahead at the front. Now that we're sitting pretty, you know, it's fairly low. I can still get, you know, I'd say we have about an inch of clearance there. This, I got it sitting pretty much as close as possible. I able to get my finger under there. I just had to re-drill the hole just so I can make it sit out a little further. Now I'm not worried about it scratching the body, but it also, you know, sits so freaking good. I love how it's tucked on the sides. Um, eventually I want to go in and kind of insulate it so I don't ever get dirt and dust and whatever. It's not overly bad and I don't think it will be having it tucked as low as now. Of course, here's the other side. Just showing you that. I am uh, I'm super pumped on this deck. So, I don't know if I'm gonna show the, uh, the plates that I get. If so, you'll see that right after. If not, this will be the end of the video. If you're in the Drayton Valley area and you're looking for Ski-Doo Can-Am products or you want to pick it yourself your own Merlon deck or any other product Merlon carries head on over first choice recreation they uh, they sponsored me for this season sledding so the 2019-2020 uh, season so I'm super pumped they helped me out a lot with this deck got it to me great time um, they're helping me out you know just making sure they helped out with the clutches on the sled getting parts getting it done getting that sled dialed in for me and now hooking me up with a deck at a good price um, you know there's not much more I can ask for other than having a great you know great dealership standing behind me so I'll put all their information down below in the bio but make sure to head on over there check them out and uh, they got a great deal on accessories, outerwear, all that fun stuff. That's where I do most of my shopping, unless I'm buying stuff state side. You know, I'm going there because they treat me so well and they want to treat you guys the same. So, other than that, head on over to industries.ca. Check out our merchandise that we got going on. Stay tuned for the uh, 2020 year i will have a bunch more merchandise that i'm going to be dropping a uh, bunch of products i'm working on so be sure to check that out and uh keep up with it but uh thanks for watching